Hello and welcome to my deep guide and the big books guide. The tablet itself holds a lot of options but they can be actually sometimes hidden, difficult to find, so the aim of this entire guide and the playlist is to help you get the maximum out of your device. If you followed the previous video and you've done your initial setup, then you'll know how I've made my home page or the UI to actually look as clean and as organized as this is. Now in this one, we're going to be setting up the Google Play Store, how to enable it, what the process is and kind of clarify some things up. So let's start. And the first thing that you need to do is naturally you have to be online. So for this section, I am going to enable my Wi-Fi on. I'm going to wait until it actually connects. And once it does connect and it's set up, there we go. Now that works. Now I can start my enable Google Play uh, setup. By default, books devices are not Google Play registered devices. So you have to manually register your device to the Google Play Store so that it's allowed to communicate and function with the Google Play Store. You do this by going into settings, applications, and then all the way at the bottom, we have this button enable Google Play. So remember, you have to be online in order to set this up correctly. Now, the setup is a little bit confounded, but if you follow these steps, you should not have a problem. So the first thing you do is you click on enable Google Play and you wait. Now, go to the activation page of the device so as to use Google Play. So you go like, yeah, that's basically, do you want to enable Google Play? You say yes. And it will take you to a web page. Now, this device has already previously been registered, so it did notify it. But that page that you saw that it blinked, that would be your Google Play sign in page. So, this is where you would sign in with your Google account that you want to use on this device. Once you're signed in, then you go back to this same thing here. And there's a couple of things that more that you need to do. But remember, you have to log in in that web page that pops up, you need to log in with your Google account, and then go back here into settings if the setup didn't take you back here, but usually it does. Now we need to do something more. So our enable Google Play is checked, but our Google Play Store is not enabled yet. For that to happen, you have to do GSF ID registration. So we have to tap here to bind the device to your Google account. And there we go. And this time it's going to ask you again to log in. So this is basically that kind of double logging in that you need to do. And you have to do that again here. So let's do login. I'm just going to change the language to English and do my login. And once I have logged in, then you will have this section here, which will tell you that you are about to register the GSF ID of this device to the Google Play Store. And here it's very important that you tap on the I am not a robot button, wait for it until it becomes checked, because that's the verification process. And then you go register, you wait again. And confusingly, it says very short for a very short amount of time, it just says device registered, and then goes back to this. So this is a very, very confusing and an easy place to get confused. But don't be uh, discouraged. This is if you've done it carefully. So you did the I'm not a robot, you waited for it to become checked, and then you press the register and it did display the device register thing, you are actually done. So this is the place where probably a lot of people stumble because it is a terrible UI way of how it's been organized. So now you can go back to GSF ID. And here's the thing that confuses most of the people. The registration process can take between five minutes and sometimes a couple of hours. So usually it's just a couple of minutes between you enabling and registering the GSF ID until you are able to use your Google Play Store, or it could be a couple of hours. What I usually do is once I've done this, I force a restart. Even though it doesn't say anywhere, I'm just going to do a restart and see if we can have our Google Play uh, Store access immediately. All right, here we go. We have restarted. And in order to check if we have our Google Play functioning, we need to go to the apps section, which is this little cube icon here. So we go to apps. 
And there we go, we have Google Play here, but it's not enough that it just appears. We need to test out if it is enabled or not. So yet again, we need to sign in to Google Play. And there we go. So now our Google Play works. However, I would recommend one more thing, and that is to go back once and do something that we're going to be exploring more in depth on a separate video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize one setting for the Google Play Store. And I do that by long pressing the Google Play icon, going to optimize, and I turn this whiten apps background option off. This is an important one to do, especially for apps that are uh, using a dark mode or anything like that in order for them to actually function properly. It's a good idea. It's kind of necessary to do that. So now when I actually go into Google Play, you can see that we no longer have the strange emboldened fonts and all that kind of stuff. However, it is a little bit kind of messy. This is simply because Google Play is not optimized for e-ink screens. However, books devices do have these different screen refresh mode speeds. So now we're by default in normal mode. But what I would normally do is I would switch to A2 mode when I'm in a Google Play Store, because now I can scroll and I can actually use the Google Play normally. And if the ghosting becomes a little bit too much, I simply swipe up on the side because I have my uh, refresh gesture set up and I'm good to go. So that's how you set up and enable Google Play on a books device. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you've learned something new. If you did, please subscribe and like the video and ding the notification bell thingy to get notified when the new videos are coming out and when the new big books guide chapters are coming out because they will be coming. There's lots more coming. Also, be sure to check back regularly on the big books uh, playlist so that you can, yeah, browse the content and find the answer that you might be looking for there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.